No, oh, that's our last lesson. Okay, on to our new lesson. Lesson four, properties of logarithms. The properties of logarithms are right up here, okay? There's basically three of them. You can either split or unsplit them, okay? Going like this, we're splitting our logarithms. And basically it's this. If you have a logarithm uh, with x times y, that could be rewritten as log x plus log y. So this right here, this multiplication just becomes a plus. Same thing for division. Division just becomes a minus. And the other thing that we know is that if we have a log x to an exponent, we could just put that exponent all the way in the front, right? So we could just put the y over here. Those are our properties. Now I'm not going to go into explaining why. You should know that by now. So we're just going to go into how, right? So here are two questions. You're going to write this as a single logarithm, right? So we're basically going from something that's not split and splitting it up. I'm sorry, we're going from this. We're going from something that's already split into something that's not split. And so basically I look at these. My plus sign right here means I'm multiplying, right? And this minus sign over here means that I'm going to be dividing by whatever is before it, right? That's my division symbol, really. So what I'm going to rewrite this as is the ln, which remember is just a logarithm, of x times y to the third, remember this 3 just goes up here, divided by z. That would just be it. You see, I'm just rewriting this as a single logarithm. You just need one ln now, and this becomes x, hold on, let me just get rid of this, just just, you could just do it this way. Remember, just one more time, all right? It's just x, the ln, you just need one of them now, and we're gonna put it over here. It's just going to be x times y to the third, I just put this three up here, divided by, because I have a minus, z. And that is your whole answer. Nothing really crazy about this, I promise. Let's look at the second one over here. It looks like a lot, but it's really not that crazy. Well, we're going to condense everything into one logarithm, so we're just going to, we need one of them, one ln, and then we're just going to rewrite the rest of it. Well, this x to the one half, this is x to the one half, right? This just goes up here, times y, right? Because that's a times, this tells us that it's times, divided by all of this, so this is z to the third, this three just goes up here times w to the fifth. This five just went up here. Now the last thing you have to do is remember that x to the one half can be rewritten as the square root of x times y over z3 w5. And that's written as a single logarithm. All right, let's do film expanding. It's basically going the opposite way. So this is really saying log to the x squared times z to the third. Now when I'm expanding, this multiplication has to become a plus. We're going the opposite way. So this becomes log x squared plus, we need another log, log z to the third. All right? From here, we're just going to put these exponents in the front. So this becomes 2 log x plus 3 log z. These two just went over here, and this three just went in front over here, and that's it. For the second one, over here, once again, we're just going to be saying that this division is now going to be a minus sign. We're going the opposite direction. So this is the ln of the square root of x minus, because there's a division sign, the ln of y to the third. See, now I have two lns. I'm splitting. Well, this x can be represented, we got to put this as an exponent, x to the one-half minus ln y to the third. And now we just put our, counter, our, our what's it called? Our exponents in the front. So this becomes one-half ln x minus three ln y. And that is how these are done. Good luck, homies.